Are you interested in different physical and cultural phenomenon on the Earth's surface? Well, if you are, becoming a geography might be for you. In this video, we're going to help you answer the question, should you become a geographer in 2021? We're going to go over the latest job market statistics, the latest salaries, and more. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. If you're enjoying the video, hit that thumbs up to support the channel. Also, if you are a geographer, working as a geographer, or majoring in geography, join the comment section down below. Let us know what your opinion is on this video and your opinion just on becoming a geographer. Geographers have several roles and responsibilities. They create and modify maps, graphs, and diagrams using geographical information systems. They analyze geographic distributions of physical and cultural phenomenon on local, regional, continental, and global scales. They write and present reports on research findings. They gather and compile geographic data from sources such as censuses, field observations, satellite imagery, aerial photography, and existing maps. Also, many people that become educated as geographers end up teaching. So that covers the roles and responsibilities of geographers. Next up, what is the average base salary of a geographer? This first set of data is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. It is only employed salaried geographers. It doesn't include the self-employed. In 2019, geographers saw an average base salary of $81,970. This was more than survey researchers, but it was less than some other similar occupations, such as economists, geography teachers that are teaching on a post-secondary level, geoscientists, and sociologists. We'll get into this a little bit later in the video, but there's a very limited number of geographer roles across the country. Many people that may get a master's or bachelor's degree in geography end up teaching. Geographer salaries have increased over the past 20 years. In 1999, the government recorded $44,450 as the average base salary for a geographer. By 2019, this average base salary rose to $81,970. This comes out to a total wage growth of $37,520, or around $1,800 per year. If we were to take this average yearly wage growth, we can estimate that in 2021, the average base salary for a geographer would be around $86,000 per year. And by 2029, this average base salary would rise to almost $100,000 per year. One of the variables that dictates how much geographers tend to earn is geography. Certain places in the country tend to pay geographers different amounts of money. This might also be due to industry and work environment. But in 2019, the government found that California was the highest paying state for geographers with an average base salary of $92,700. Meanwhile, the state of Texas was the least lucrative place for geographers where the average base salary was $64,740. Other high paying states for geographers in 2019 were the state of Colorado, Maryland, Illinois, and the state of Washington. The other thing to keep in mind is work environment also plays a role in the compensation of geographers across the country. The federal government tends to pay geographers the greatest wage, where the average base salary for a geographer working for the federal government was around $87,000 per year, whereas engineering firms tended to pay them around $76,000, and state government was the least lucrative place for geographers, where the average base salary was around $58,000 per year. If we were to take all these variables and average them across the country, work environment, geography, and other variables, uh, a starting salary for the average geographer would be around $52,000 per year. This would be the 10th percentile. Whereas a geographer that you know works in a hot job market, works in probably for the federal government, they tend to earn, are in the top 10% and earn more than $113,000 per year. So that covers the compensation of geographers across the country. Next up, we're going to get into the job market. And this is one of the most challenging parts of becoming a geographer in 2021. The job market for geographers is very challenging. The first thing to understand is that the geographer workforce is tiny. There were only 1,400 employed geographers in 2019. Compared to some similar occupations, the size of the geographer workforce is tiny. There are far more employed economists, geography teachers that are teaching on a secondary level. There's almost three times as many as them. There are far more geoscientists, 
there's about twice as many sociologists and there are more survey researchers as well. And the troubling part for geographers is that there hasn't been that much job growth over the past two decades. In 1999, there was only actually 720 employed geographers across the country. This hit a high in 2012 of 1,510 employed geographers. Then it slid a little bit. And then by 2019, the government recorded about 1,400 employed geographers across the country. So over about two decades, there was a gain of about 680 employed geographers. This comes out to an average yearly rate of 32 jobs per year. And the government is not optimistic about the future job market of geographers. This is one of the few occupations where they're anticipating job losses over the next 10 years. In fact, they're estimating a loss of 1% of jobs for geographers to 2029. Whereas for the average occupation, they're anticipating a 4% gain in jobs. So there's probably not gonna be very much job growth for geographers going into the future. In this chart, the blue columns are the government projection and the orange is the historical projection. It's basically the 32 jobs a year that we can take from the past 20 years. So according to the government, the government forecasts about 1,386 employed geographers in 2029 whereas the historical trend would put it at around 1,724 employed geographers in 2029. Because there's such a limited number of job opportunities and such a limited number of employed geographers across the country, it is an extremely regional occupation. Many states are off limits for this occupation. In 2019, the state of Maryland had the greatest number of employed geographers in the entire United States with about 280 employed followed by Texas, California, Virginia, and Colorado. But in this map, all the beige colored states have very little or no job opportunities for geographers. We can also take this one step further. We can look at the number of job postings for geographers across the country at this specific point in time. So using Indeed, I searched for three different keywords, geographer, GIS, which stands for Geographical Information Systems, and then it fully sp spelled out Geographical Information Systems. I use these three keywords searching for only job postings where they has those keywords in the title. When you just do a general search on Indeed for say geographer, it will also look in the description of the job postings. So you end up getting a lot of bad data. Whereas I do an advanced search and I search for these terms in the title of the job postings. So basically searching for these terms gave me 15 job postings for geographers, 818 for GIS, and then spelled out geographical information systems that gave me six job postings for a total of 833 job postings across the country. The problem here is that the government has three different occupations and they have geog the geographer occupation, they have the geotechnician occupation, and they also have a geoscientist occupation. So there's a lot of overlap between these three. So this kind of shows you that kind of a geographic technician, there's actually 818 job postings across the country for this but there's very limited number of job postings for just a geographer. So definitely do your research, use indeed.com to really figure out what kind of job you're going for. Are you trying to become a geographer or are you trying to become more of a GIS technician, analyst, or programmer? The other thing to keep in mind about the job market is 61% of geographers work for the federal government and a large portion also work for the state government. So that covers the job market for geographers. Next up, would this occupation be compatible with your interests and personality? To determine this, look into taking a RIASEC assessment and figuring out your Holland codes. This allows you to compare your interests with the interests of people in different occupations. With geographers, they tend to score high in the investigative and realistic themes. In fact, they score really high in the investigative theme. So a lot of geographers are very, tend to be very curious people. They tend to enjoy researching, inquiring, and analyzing different information. Whereas the realistic theme, that's more of a hands-on theme. A lot of people that score high in this theme like to work outdoors, and they tend to like working with their hands. So regarding the personalities of geographers, the Myers-Briggs company actually found that the ISTJ is the most common Myers-Briggs personality type found in this occupation. This is also known as the inspector. Whereas the thinker, the INTP, is the second most common Myers-Briggs personality type. Number thir three is the mediator, the INFP. And number four is the director, the ESTJ. So that covers the interests and personalities of geographers. If your interests and personalities kind of line up like this, this occupation could be compatible 
with your interests and you might be working with people that are similar to your personality. The final thing to consider when considering this occupation is what kind of education do you need to become a geographer? Well, according to the Occupational Information Network, 43% of geographers just have a bachelor's degree, about 35% have a master's degree and 22% have, have a doctoral degree. So geographers have a wide variety of education but almost one out of every two, 43% just have a bachelor's degree. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to becoming a geographer in 2021. There are definitely challenges with the job market. There are not a lot of employed geographers across the country, although GIS people that are GIS technicians and analysts and maybe work as geoscientists, they might have more employment opportunities, but for geographers, the landscape, the job market landscape is seems to be very challenging. They have had good wage growth over the past two decades, but similar occupations tend to earn a little bit more than geographers. And the highest paid geographers tend to work for the federal government. Are you interested in becoming a geographer or do you already work as a geographer? Let us know in the comments below. And if you do work as a geographer, let us know what you think of the occupation, what, where it's going into the future and whether you enjoy it or not. Thanks so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.